Hello, y'all. Gary here. Gary talks. New digs. Okay, Friday the 13th was very good to me. I had such a beautiful Friday yesterday. It was, I'm really tired because I've been working and like just doing the things. Um, but feeling really good. Really, really, really good. Um, got a new car. And these are technically glasses you all haven't seen. But, and they're kind of new. I don't wear them that often. But, uh, yeah, just doing things, doing new things right now. Um, I wanted to talk today about, about this, uh, outbreak we're having, you know, Stella virus. I feel like, to me, I've been making jokes, Buddha, Buddha, not Buddha, Bud Light uh, virus, Stella virus, because I prefer Stella, you know, like, it's not a laughing matter and it is to me i think i think this is such an interesting time for people and i think what this whole thing is really bringing up is fear right it's about what actually makes us afraid i've been saying that 2020 was here to clarify the vision 2020 vision means seeing clearly in our paradigm so it makes sense that in the year 2020 i feel like something would happen it seems like a very level year three for me is a very 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 significant number of transformation um and a, like a, a creation a new beginning is what it feels like often that's the energy threes give me and lucky lucky sometimes <laughs> um and i feel like some people have been doing you know doing the work a lot of people have been doing the work let me not front a lot of people have been doing the the work that we need to do in terms of inner healing um finding out our values finding out what we're about living in our authentic truth because that is literally our purpose because if we're not living in our authentic truth we end up living in a world where everything is controlled and then we complain about it but also we're not living in our truth and we feel like it's because of all these other things that people are telling us so we don't and we conform to different roles but we're not living in our truths and then now that's a different conversation <laughs> i think this time has been really powerful because it's really shaking us up shaking it up <laughs> shaking everything is falling apart oh my goodness and people are not doing well a lot of people look at the tower tarot card right or death as bad things like scary when you see it, it's like oh but i've always could be my scorpio could be like i am an alchemist it could be a lot of like my i love the dark like chaos is not bad chaos i think in this regard is a time to really reflect what are you scared of what are you scared of? Because if you're scared of dying, we can talk about that. And it's kind of an irrational fear because we're all going to die. Are you scared of pain? Are you scared of suffering? Are you scared of the unexpected? Is that really all it is? But what do you expect from the unexpected? What is the fear? People who are stockpiling things. Huh. How do you feel about lack and scarcity and abundance? And... How do we feel about the end of the world? If it's the end of the world, like we watch movies and we think that, you know, there's going to be this group of people that will survive, right? Because it always can be. And also if it's the end of the world, if it's the end of the world, the end end, it's the end of the world. I think it's been really interesting to notice what's on people's minds right now. What is on your mind? It seems like it's just the, the talking about this thing. The anxiety. And realizing we have a lot of anxiety, y'all. We're scared ass people. And the la someone was telling me the last time they witnessed something like this. And it, it, that's what frightens them about it. Is 9-11. When things like... Got shook up. And a question that's been on my mind is, do we also remember what happened around that time and after that time? After 9-11, a whole group of people became very discriminated against 
more so because I'm sure they experienced discrimination before Muslim people and Middle Eastern and brown people in general and after that that you can live people have tracked written so many you know studies people have shared their experiences I know people who literally were like my life changed after that moment and we gave up so many civil liberties take my sh- the bombs might be in my shoes I'll take them off you're good I will let you see through me so that I can be safe I will yes 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 everything yes just help me just protect me just save me when has this place ever protected and saved me or any of us really the majority of us they let it talk about doing stuff for the majority of us a little thing for the majority of us like a quarantine or lockdown how are you gonna come and tell me what to do in my house for the betterment of other people i understand you're trying to contain things because y'all are we we don't know what's going on and also can we talk about community what are community measures being taken i feel like it's all, every man for himself every family for themselves that's why people are stockpiling things because we don't know how to share we haven't had a conversation around sharing even in the time of crisis we're like feeding our scarcity because of that and I just think I think it's a time to reflect I always think it's a time to reflect I think if it if it makes you feel good to have some s- supplies and shit do that do whatever you want because you should have like you know whatever do the things that make you feel comfortable and also take a deep breath i had a moment where you know my partner and i are going through transitions in our relationship right now doing a lot of evolution and it's really beautiful and just like really it's really this creating some separation and space in our relationship so that we can have less attachments and really be living our own lives and it feels really good to relate to somebody like that. To really like, to like, restart afresh so that you can have what you want. Um, and he called me freaking out. He was going to help me with my car thing yesterday. And so Thursday he calls me freaking out about, they might shut down the city. And I, can you take me back to New Jersey? And I was like, I had this like, <gasps> It cried. I, I had to get off the phone. And I sat. I was driving and pulled over and cried because I was like, "Whoa, I'm." That was a lot. I feel that. I feel y'all. I feel the stress. I feel the anxiety. I feel that. It's very scary. And also, I was like, "What am I actually scared of?" I was like, "Actually, what I'm realizing is, in this new arrangement of our relationship, and based on the assumptions I'm making in that, and what he said too, is like, you would leave me now in this. Leave me now in this time of." chaos because you go back to your family versus i think in the past i feel in the past we may have made plans together right so it was me feeling that shift and also being like shut down the city (laughs) and then i was like they're not gonna shut down the city they're not and i went to go look it up he said that a friend had said something about family friend or somebody works at that they know somebody they got it in right that's why and then they're talking about no, they're, the, the NYPD is like nobody got in, and then posting pictures of the text messages that people are sending to each other because chain mail is still a thing, y'all. You know, I just think, I just think, I think it's time to to take a deep breath, y'all. stop to do this properly let's pull over so we can really stop you see what i'm saying don't matter what you're doing i'm trying to look for parking we're gonna stop take a deep breath Times of change are really times of, it brings up a lot of anxiety for people because the newness of things 
is like it could be anything it could be horrible and it could be magnificent and we as a general collective because of the way we view identity and how things are as just a collection of the past we cannot imagine new futures that don't involve the horribleness of the past and that is a limitation i would say or like a, a point of incredible opportunity for us to change because if you continually try to create the future in the past you're going to get more of the past and it's gonna be shitty, and it's gonna be scary, and it's gonna be horrible, and it's gonna be sick, the cold. It's gonna bring you back. That's why Mercury retrograde be whipping our asses. So, be with your loved ones. Do the things that you feel are important. Find out who is important to you. Realize if you have no one around you, that's also what that is too. And also sit with the feelings. For um, And then it's cool to talk about it. In this way. I'm actually really afraid of. I am, ex I feel like I am expecting, you know? So, wishing everyone well, sending you lots of love, lots and lots and lots of love. It's, it's interesting to know what you're doing these days. Take notice of that. If you're working still, take notice of that. It's not, you know, it's really not about good or bad and judging yourself of like, like being in fear mode and panic mode is bad. It's not about it being bad. How is it affecting your life? Are you compulsively washing your hands? Isn't that a sign of like OCD? And they, they're trying to, they're changing people's habits. I feel like this is a, a, a like, how far can we take it to see how far people will go? Because people are programmable. That's all we are. Human nature is programmable, I think. Good and bad, meh, I think we could just be programmable. If it's nature versus nurture, I think our nature is that we are able to be nurtured. And so we will go with that. We will go with what we're being fed and what we consume. So just pay attention to yourself. There's so much misinformation because how do you feel about how how do you feel about all the things? It's not like yeah, your feelings determine the news because my feelings in war, we I don't have to, I'm not gonna get into that right now. And also, how does war make you feel? Scared? Dig deep. What is it? What are you scared of? The violence? Are you? Because it comes down to a lot of the time that you're scared of dying. Why are you scared of dying? Because you think of death as a particular thing. You think after that, whoosh, or you don't know what it is, and it's back to the unknown. And back to the unknown, you think you're going to die in the unknown. What if I told you... What if I told you... It's not what you thought it was. And you'd be like, oh, that's the point. It could be anything. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. So it's a mindset, mind shift thing. I just want, I just hope and want everyone to be taking care of themselves in the ways that are good for them and for their soul and for their expansion. Everything is for our expansion. And fear and panic can really make you like tense up and not look because you're like, ah, and just like, you know slowing down a little bit so take care of yourselves again stay healthy as people have been telling me stay healthy stay healthy y'all stay healthy y'all stay healthy <laughs> have a wonderful day